Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Before we get into this video, let me go ahead and tell you, you will see a pink dish towel on the floor at my dishwasher. And yes, it's there for a reason. Yes, I know it's there. Um, the door on the refrigerator, uh, not refrigerator, dishwasher has just a slow drip leak and it's there to catch it until I can get the gasket to come in and replaced. So I know it's there. I just wanted to let you know, I did know there was a pink towel on the floor. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. And yes, I got to check to make sure my mic is on. Anyway, my name is Leslie. Welcome to my kitchen. You are here in my kitchen down on the farm. I am so happy to have you. If you're back, welcome back. You guys know how much I love you. If you're new, welcome. I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Tell me where you're watching from. Tell me if you're new or if you've been with me for a very long time. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, today is fall recipe number two. Actually, it's really number three, but the first one I did was not necessarily meant to be a uh, it was for Jamie's birthday. It was the cranberry oatmeal cookies. I made the pumpkin snickerdoodles the other day. And today I am making a recipe that comes from one of my sweet viewers. Uh, actually, it's a family. I think it's a mom and a son. Um, the Millers, they were raised in the Amish Mennonite uh, communities. Uh, and they are sending me their whoopee pie recipe. Now she sent it to me as a, an online link, but I do believe this is the actual whoopie pie recipe that her family uses. So I will try to leave that link that she sent to me. I will try my best to leave it down in the description below. But if you know me and you love me, you know, I often either a forget or B just don't have the time to get it in there. So if by chance, I forget to put it in there. How about you guys running right now grabbing a piece of paper and I'm going to give you the ingredients first for the cookies and then later on I'll give you the uh, re ingredients for the filling. So right now let's get into this. I will try my very best to add the link down in the description below. But I'm going to give you just a second to go grab your paper. Hit pause if you need to. Run, grab you a piece of paper and a pen, and we'll get this started. Okay. All right. So, uh, first and foremost, you're going to use a stick of butter, a half a cup of butter. I use salted, and therefore, since I use salted, I do not add salt to the recipe. Um, but if you are using unsalted, you're going to want to add about a fourth to a half teaspoon of salt. Okay. All right. You're also going to need, if I can pick them up without breaking them, two eggs. You're going to need a half a cup of white sugar and a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. You're also going to need a cup of pure pumpkin puree. Now, uh, be sure you're getting the pure, if you're buying the canned, be sure you're getting pure pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling. There is a difference. You're going to need a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, and you're going to need a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon and a half of pumpkin pie spice. So, all right, let me grab everything else I need. That's just for the cookie portion. So we're, we're good with the cookie portion, okay? So I'm going to get everything I need. I'm going to get my oven preheating, and I'll meet you back right here, and we will um, get these cookies started. Now let me just say, the Amish and Mennonite communities are famous for their whoopie pies. In fact, I have made some of their whoopie pies. They're chocolate ones. But because this, we are starting our fall recipe event, whatever you want to call it, um, 
we are going to make these pumpkin and she sent me this recipe so this is what we are using now hopefully once the recipe is done i'll have time to maybe go out to the building and pull out my fall decorations since we're talking fall i have on the tv on youtube i have like fall autumn ambiance that's what i search autumn ambiance it's got some classical music in the background um, however when i'm recording i do mute it but um, I'm just in the fall senses. Although the temperature outside is 95 degrees, I'm ready for some fall weather, some fall, just everything. So <laughs> anyway, I'll meet you back right here in just a second. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're gonna get the flour ready and I can just set it aside. So here is my cup and a half of all-purpose flour, and I'm going to mix in the teaspoon of baking soda and the teaspoon and a half of pumpkin pie spice. All right, so we are ready to just set that aside. And I'm going, I've got my stand mixer out and ready. So what I'm going to do in here is we're going to go ahead and just beat until fluffy the butter and the sugars. And I will not, um, I won't film during that because some of you say that's super loud, especially when I'm wearing my microphone. So I'm just going to beat it until it's fluffy and I'll bring you back when I get it that way you can see what it looks like. So I'm just going in first thing with my paddle attachment. And we'll beat, I'll bring you right back. Okay, so you can see how it's well incorporated so now I'm going to add in my eggs. And I'm going to actually incorporate them one at a time. So now what I'm going to add is our pumpkin. We're going to add in our pumpkin. Now you will notice something very odd for anything I cook. There was no vanilla in this recipe. Um, <clears throat> so I struggle with that a little bit just because I put vanilla in everything uh, as far as baking goods. Um, However, there is the pumpkin flavor. Then you've got all the pumpkin spice flavors. I, I don't think we'll miss the vanilla. So I am following the recipe, which is also very unlike me. And we are going with no vanilla. And I'm going to incorporate this and mix this in. Also, before I add in the flour, I want to be sure I've scraped down the sides just to be sure everything is incorporated and nothing is hanging on to the sides for dear life. <laughs> smells good already and I haven't even put the pumpkin spices in there yet. All right, let's give that another mix. I am going to leave the mixer on for this part, um, so I'm sorry if it's loud but we are going to incorporate a little bit of the flour at a time. I'm actually going to turn it down one notch. Oh, it smells heavenly. And you know what I did not do? I did not turn my oven on. 
Let me reach around behind me. I'll finish putting this in and I'll preheat the oven. There is one area that I am venturing away from the recipe on and that is how to put the cookies on the cookie sheet. It's said to put it in a, ba a piping bag and pipe it. Um, I'm just not going to take the time to do that. I'm going to use my cookie scoop and pray that it turns out okay. So um, that's what we're going to do. Now we may pipe the filling, but I think with the cookies, I'm going to go ahead and just put them out the best I can and um, see how they go. I am using my large cookie scoop for this. And so we're going to see how this goes. So let me get you turned down. I'm not exactly sure how to describe the consistency of the dough. It's a, a very moist. And I don't know how much they'll spread, so I'm only going to put a few on each. And I think this is actually going to work out just fine the way I'm doing it. And I'll try to get um, let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's try to get eleven. Okay. All right. I'm going to get this as soon as my oven is preheated. We'll get this into the oven. And um, so we are going to have some pumpkin whoopie pies in just a little bit. Now I'll bring you back. Once these come out, I'll bring you back while they're cooling and we'll go over the filling. On the recipe from last week, or the other day, not last week, but the other day, the pumpkin snickerdoodles, I failed to tell you how long you bake them. You bake them for 12 minutes. But, so I'm not going to forget this one today. You're going to bake these at 350 for about 10 minutes. So, uh, I didn't want to forget like I did on the snickerdoodles. So, I apologize for that, but um, today, this is 350 for 10 minutes. So, okay, I've got two trays ready to go in. I'm just waiting for the oven to get good and preheated and we'll go in. And then, um, once I get all the cookies baked, we'll come back and, um, talk about the filling and make the filling. So we'll see you in just a little bit. I'm going to clean up the dishes while we're waiting for the oven to preheat. I always like to clean as I go. Oops. I like to clean as I go and, um, the dishwasher was just waiting to be filled. So that's what we're going to do. And um, we'll see you guys back in just a little bit. I do think that pumpkin stained one of my spatulas. Urgh. So I always want my channel to be an educational one. And when something happens that I didn't intend to happen, I try to show it to you just so I can teach you what not to do. So let me show you this. They came out absolutely beautiful. Look at there. Aren't they gorgeous? But you can see this one. Something went wrong with this one. So let me tell you what happened. Take a good look at it. You can see where it kind of ran right here. Let me tell you what I did. I said a while ago to scrape down the sides to be sure you got everything incorporated. Well, what I didn't tell you was, and what I didn't do was I obviously didn't do it well and I didn't scrape the bottom. So there was a part where there was a little bit of butter. There was a little chunk of butter that did not get incorporated well. I mean, little bitty. And that's the cookie that it was in. I saw it when I scooped it up. I thought, oh, it'll be okay. But it's okay. It's still going to be delicious, but I thought that's a great learning thing. This is, oops, hang on. Sorry. Um, this is a great, great learning thing for, for maybe 
cooks that don't bake often or it's just good to see what happens when you don't do a certain step i did scrape down the sides but i obviously missed a spot so that cookie will still be delicious i'll probably just trim around it and save that here and eat it myself or <laughs> give it to the boys or whatever but um yeah so there's there's a reason you're supposed to do the things you're supposed to do and that's one of them you want to be sure everything is incorporated so i mean even if your spices weren't well incorporated you don't want to get a mouthful of that pumpkin pie spice you want it to be evenly distributed so there is a reason behind everything so um scrape down your size and do it thoroughly be sure you haven't missed any spot but when i was scooping the cookies I scraped around the side getting some of the cookie dough and or cookie batter and that's what happened I grabbed a little small piece of butter that didn't get incorporated so okay just thought I would use that as a learning teaching segment okay so let's talk about the cream filling it is basically a cream cheese icing sort of inside um, so let me tell you what you're gonna need you're gonna need half of a block four ounces of a block of cream cheese you're going to need half of a stick which is four tablespoons of a stick of softened butter you're going to need some vanilla here's where the vanilla is going to come in and i've got approximately two cups of powdered sugar here not sure how much we'll use but we'll see now i will pipe this i think and what i've done is i've got a container and i've just stuck a bag and pulled it down on the sides and we'll fill this up but i've got my mixer here with the um whisk attachment i'll get it out in a minute the whisk attachment is on and so i'm going to go ahead and put in half my stick of butter and half of my cream cheese and get that mixed up well Okay, there went the butter. And there we're going in with the cream cheese. And I'll go ahead and throw the vanilla in now. Now let's give this an initial whisk and I'm gonna cut the camera off. Okay, I have that well incorporated and so I'm actually, and I'm gonna leave the camera on for this part. I'm gonna turn it on low and we're gonna start incorporating the powdered sugar. And we know we're going to need at least a cup and a half. All right, we're going to stop right there and I'm going to turn it up slowly. And if we need to add a little milk, we can or some more vanilla or even water if necessary. I'm going to cut the camera off so I can turn it up on high. All right, let's wipe down the sides. And I'm getting the bottom. All right, now I'm going to give this another mix or two. All right. There's some good stuff on there. 
Mm-mm, mm mm that's good. Wow, so good. And I'm just putting it down in here. Good stuff. All right. Now let me grab a pair of scissors so I can clip the corner and we'll come back and work on these cookies. So I've brought the cookies over here and I've kind of been sizing them up to put them with ones that are close to the same um, shape and size that they are. So I've kind of flipped them around and done that. So some of them are upside down, some of them are not. Um, but let's get this taking this out of the and it seems like I've got it headed down towards this corner so I'm just going to take a good little snip off that corner with a good pair of scissors I'm going to work the icing down to that corner all right so let me get you turned down here so you can see And I'm not exactly sure how much we're going to put on here. That may be too much or not enough. I'm really not sure. Okay, I've got a few more over here. Let me grab them. These I about got two done. All right, I have one, it made an odd set of cookies. So I have one with no lid and that's the one I'll taste test for you. Now keep in mind, I'm not a huge pumpkin fan, but we will give this a try. All right, let me turn this extra one over that I have here. This one will have no top. So this will be the topless cookie. And this will be the one I try. I'll save all the pretty ones for Bryant and Daniel and Isaac and Judah and Levi. Oh my goodness y'all, aren't these beautiful? I mean, they look like legit whoopie pies. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Mm, that was a little moist. Stuck to my finger. Oh, wow. Tastes like a spice cake almost. Oh, 
Oh, man. I really may like these. <laughs> Believe it or not. They're so moist, it's sticking to my fingers. I'm getting cake stuck to my fingers. You know, whoopie pie cookie is, it's almost like cake. All right, so let me, got two more to make room for. There we go. There we go. All right, let's give this one a try. I cooked these a little firmer than I did the other ones, but they're still going to be delicious. So let me, hold on, there's a call coming in. Okay, so let's give it a bite. Isaac has asked me to bring him something, so we'll take him a cookie and see what he thinks. But I stand corrected. I do like pumpkin. Oh my. That is heavenly. That is so good. Wowza. Okay. I am now a pumpkin fan, or at least a pumpkin whoopie pie fan. That's for sure. All right. Let me see if I can find what Isaac's needing me to bring him. I'll take this and we'll see um, what he thinks. I tell you what, let's just take this whole tray, go find all the guys. Isaac is working in the chicken houses. He's crusting, so let me go ahead and tell you, he's gonna be super nasty, but that's okay. He'll be the only one that touches his food. And um, then we'll go see Bryant and Daniel. They're working on another project and see what they think. So come on, let's go. Okay guys, here comes Isaac. I brought him some wipes for his hand. Let me get him to pull out and cut the tractor off and we'll let him taste the cookie. Okay, let's see what he thinks. He's doing a taste test. Taste on test tractor. on the tractor. I did get him wipes for his hands. She did, my hands are clean. <laughs> it smells good, is it pumpkin? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he says. That's delicious. And I'm not one to like icing. But that is so creamy or what like light too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Fluffy. It's delicious. Airy. That is amazing. All right. You bring any more? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go find daddy and take him one. Let's do the taste test with him. Oh my uh, field trip taste, taste field trip taste test. I can do two of them for him. <laughs> All right, I think he likes it. It's kind of fun doing the um, field trip taste test. So, yep, we're going over here to a little house where Bryant and Daniel have, are working on a little project. And so we're going to go in there and get them to do a taste test for us and see what they think of this. All right. We're, we're here with a, a little project Bryant and Daniel are working on, and I brought them. A little treat. Yep. I'm Big Dan, here you go. What are these called? Pumpkin whoopie pies. Okay. Right there's delicious. Yeah, that's a good pumpkin pie. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that is a cup of coffee in that right there. Give me a glass of milk. <laughs> moist. They're very moist. Yes. Very moist. And delicious. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> With his mouthful. I could eat just a, the cream out of the milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. I think the boys have a tray of cookies to finish. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> we never finish all them. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> Daniel says he'll take care of it for you. All right, we'll see you back at the kitchen. Well, I would say that the whoopie pies were a hit. Um, they were a super duper hit. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning up my kitchen and I am going to um, get this cleaned up and I'm going to pick Judah up from the bus stop in just a little bit. Well, in an hour or so. 
in a few hours. Um, and then we're going to get out the fall decorations and we're going to go hit up a couple of stores, just Judah and I. And we will see what... Um, what we can find. If there's anything I just can't live without, then we will go check it out.